Hey everyone, it's Alvin here from Green Ground, your go-to channel for the latest in movies, TV series, and tech. Today we're diving into a topic that's as intriguing as it is important, the curious case of Italy's one euro houses. Now before you rush to pack your bags for a dream Italian getaway, let's unravel this story together. Italy, a country synonymous with breathtaking landscapes, rich history, and cultural heritage, yet beneath this picturesque veneer lies a stark reality. One that's led to towns literally giving away houses or paying people to live there. Sounds like a plot straight out of a movie, doesn't it? But this is real life and the reasons behind it are as complex as they are fascinating. For years, Italy has been grappling with a stagnant economy. Since the mid-1990s, growth has been at a standstill. Surprising, right? Considering Italy's status as a global economic player, home to iconic brands and industries. But the issue runs deeper. The Italian business landscape, traditionally valuing loyalty over performance, hasn't quite caught up with the fast-paced, merit-driven world of today. This coupled with political instability, a cumbersome legal system, and significant tax evasion paints a picture of a nation struggling to keep pace with the modern world. But the plot thickens. Italy's not just facing economic hurdles, it's also in the midst of a demographic crisis. The country has one of the oldest populations globally and alarmingly low birth rates. Young, talented Italians, faced with limited job prospects and meager salaries, are leaving in droves. This exodus, alongside an aging population, is creating a void, a gap that these one-euro houses are desperately trying to fill. Now let's zoom in on these houses. They're not just any houses, we're talking about historical homes, part of Italy's cultural fabric, nestled in some of the most picturesque parts of the countryside. The catch, they often require significant renovation, but even with this requirement, the deal seems too good to be true. And in a way, it is. These initiatives, while novel, are a band-aid solution to a much larger problem. They don't address the core issues. Lack of job opportunities, inadequate infrastructure, and the broader economic challenges plaguing these regions. So while foreigners might snap up these properties for a steal, turning them into holiday homes, the local communities continue to struggle. This situation is a stark reminder of the economic decline many Italian towns face. It's a cycle of young people leaving due to lack of opportunities, leading to more economic stagnation, prompting more people to leave, a spiral that's proving hard to break. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Despite the abundance of cheap houses, a significant portion of young Italians still live with their parents. The reasons are multifaceted. From the close-knit nature of Italian families to the harsh economic realities, making independent living a distant dream for many. So what does this all mean for Italy and what can we learn from it? It's a tale of a nation at a crossroads, grappling with the challenges of modernization while trying to preserve its rich heritage. It's a reminder that solutions to complex problems require more than just creative marketing or quick fixes. As we wrap up this fascinating journey through Italy's one euro houses, I want you to think about the broader implications. What can other countries learn from Italy's experience? How can we balance economic growth with preserving cultural heritage? These are questions worth pondering, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you're intrigued and want to delve deeper into this topic, check out the description for more details. And hey, if you've got insights, questions, or just want to share your take on this, drop a comment below. We're all about engaging conversations here at Green Ground. And remember, for more captivating stories, reviews, and insights into the world of movies, TV series, and tech, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. You won't want to miss what we've got lined up for you. Until next time, this is Alvin signing off. Keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep enjoying the fascinating world around us. See you in the next video.